refusal of Finnish government to extradite Simon Ekpa back to Nigeria. The Nigerian government has concluded plans to severe ties with Finland. Simon Ekpa, Nayu Naim reviewed this one. He said because the Finnish government, you know, refused to extradite him back to Nigeria, just like, you know, the request the Nigerian government has been making. Record that the government of Nigeria has been working very strong day and night to make sure that the Finnish government extradites Simon Ekpa back to Nigeria. According to the Nigerian government, he said Finnish government should help extradite Simon Ekpa back to Nigeria to come and face trial so that he can be persecuted here in Nigeria. But the Finnish government said, no, we don't do things like that. This is not political. This matter is already in court. You people have requested this before now, but the matter is in court. We cannot just say, oh, Nigerian government have asked Finnish government to re repatriate our citizen. Oh, Simon Ekpa, on your way to Nigeria. They don't do that. So this is the issue. The other day, the Finnish government said, they did not, the Finnish court said they did not see any case with um, Nigerian government and uh, Simon Ekpa that we make them to extradite their citizen, you know, to Nigeria. Now, the question is, what exactly is British government in into with Nigerian government? How do they do this Mazenam the Kano matter? Because when you look at what is going on, you don't say the British government is not aware of Mazenam the Kano extra online rendition from Kenya to Nigeria. And the silence of British government speaks loud. You understand? The silence of British government speaks loud. In the first place, they know they leave their citizen for anything. They must fight for you. Mazen the Kano was not with Nigerian passport when he was adopted from Kenya to Nigeria. He was with British government passports. So when you look at that scenario, you can now understand that it was all planned between the British government and the Kenya government and Nigeria government. So three of them, they worked hand to hand. So you see how people who have integrity do their things. I also love what Benin Republic did during uh, Sunday Bowu's trial. You understand? Nigerian government tried. Brutai, the former chief of army staff, right? Not when he not do because he was once the ambassador of Benin Republic. He don't try. He try everything possible to make sure that Sunday Bowu is brought back to Nigeria. They tell us, say, no. This matter, they cut. We know they do like that. So that is the difference between Nigerian courts and some other countries. Nigerian court is anything. Nigerian judiciary is anything can go. Once the, the ruling party tells you, say, this is how we will do it. That is just how you will go about it. No question. They don't question. They don't question them. You understand? Why do you say we should do Why do you say we should do this? Is that how we're supposed to do it? Whatever they tell them, yes, yes. And that is why Nigerian INEC will continue to answer yes. And that is the reason why we can never get fair election in Nigeria. That is the reason why the police and the, the, our soldiers will continue to answer yes, yes. The problem in Nigeria is just beginning. That is the truth too. Because everything, all the setup, all the body has, in fact, everything does scatter. Just the executive controlling everybody, all the bodies. I beg. The Simon Ekpa led Biafra Republic government in Hezai has alleged that the Nigerian government has concluded plans to severe diplomatic ties with the government of Finland. Ekpa made the claims in a statement on his official ex handle on Thursday. His claim is coming a few days after the Finnish government spoke on legal proceedings involving Ekpa. 
the Finnish Minister for Foreign Affairs, Elena, who spoke after a meeting between Nigerian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Yusuf, and the Foreign Ministers of Sweden, the Finland, Iceland, as well as representatives from Norway and Denmark, said Ekbar's case was being handled through Finland judiciary system, which operates strictly by the rule of law. The Nigerian government has been pushing attempts and made at extraditing Ekbar to the court, to Nigeria, I meant to say. Reacting to the development, the Biafra agitator, who is based in Finland, said, the latest move comes amid severe failed attempt to seek its extradition. The Nigerian state has run out of options and ideas that they have concluded to close the Finnish embassy in Abuja and cut ties with Finland. Finland will have a better future with the emerging state of Biafra than whatever the Nigerian state can offer. Norma closed the embassy in Nigeria long ago. The embassy is now in Ghana. They lose nothing but the burden of certain fake and forged documents. Reviewed. Okay, relieved. He claimed. Ekba had recently alleged of a fifth attempt to assassinate him in Finland. So guys, what do you have to say about this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.